5.30 here in Mexico City. We got in the complex about a week ago. The complex is super nice. It's like uh, super quiet, which is surprising because I thought Mexico City would be loud considering there's like 9 million people here, but it's actually not that loud. It's actually a really nice city and we're really enjoying it so far. But today we're going in the hot air balloon uh, over some ancient ruins in, near Mexico City. And I'm super excited. This is my first time in a hot air balloon and uh, what a better way to do it than in Mexico City. There are balloons everywhere. And we're in this red one. Right here, that one's ours. That's crazy. Oh my God. Headed straight for the temple. <laughs> We are extremely high right now. And this view is like once in a lifetime. This is amazing. Most amazing experience. Uno. Uno más. Listos? Go. Romeo Yankee Extra. De Volare. Ah, we tripulación de Condor. I'm now at Teotihuacan. We looked up Google how you pronounce that, so I'm pretty sure it's right. Uh, we did the balloon tour this morning, 
and it wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna get that like feeling in my belly that you get on like roller coasters, but I didn't end up getting that. It was very smooth and it was so cool. It was my first time on an air balloon. The flame is like massive and like even though it's cold outside the air balloon, like it's actually really warm when you're up in the air. And we went up so high and we went up right over the pyramid that we're standing, that I'm standing in front of, which is the sun pyramid. The sun rises like right behind it. But now we're gonna walk around and explore the temples. They look really cool. I don't think you can go up on any of them, but um, maybe some of the smaller ones we'll be able to go up on. These stairs are so narrow. Right outside of our Airbnb, at first glance, it sort of looks like a lot of people are living in tents. It might be like a homeless population. But actually, after talking with some people and talking with our Airbnb host, it's actually protesters. So the indigenous women are here in Mexico City outside of a government building, which is right across the street from our Airbnb. And they are protesting the election that's coming up in June because Mexico, apparently, I'm not from here, so I don't want to speak on it myself, but I've heard that they have corruption issues in their voting, voting process when voting politicians into the government. So they're protesting that right now. They're doing it very peacefully. They're actually out there dancing in front of the government building. And uh, we've walked by it a few times and everyone's is very nice, very friendly. They're actually handing out papers, talking about the issue and talking about what they're protesting. Now we are headed to the famous Plaza de Constitucion. They have a massive uh, Mexican flag in the middle of the plaza. There's also um, a famous church there, I believe. So we're gonna head there. Uh, apparently it's very beautiful. Hopefully they have some street vendors. We'll get some food. We're doing a bike ride to the cathedral. We are now at the flag lowering ceremony. We got street corn, take a look. We got cheese, we got mayonnaise, we got hot sauce on it. Um, I think that's everything we got on it. It was like everywhere on the street right outside of the Palacio Bellas Artes. And uh, I think it's pretty good. Kayla doesn't really like it, but I think it's kind of creamy. It's kind of spicy. It's kind of corny. It's good. Do you like the gelato better than the street corn? Yeah. 